Investors looking for a spirited company with a whole lot of buzz may want to check out Boston Beer. Started in brewer Jim Koch's kitchen in 1984, Boston Beer has since grown to be the fourth largest brewing company in the United States, due largely to its history of innovation and being quick to embrace new beverage categories. Sam Adams Boston Lager had a huge part in ushering in the craft beer revolution. Next time you have friends over, stock up on the good taste of beer. And Angry Orchard is the country's top-selling hard cider. The company brought truly hard seltzer to market well before other big brewers' offerings, and it quickly grew to become second in sales only to category-dominant White Claw. Together, the two brands account for 68% of national sales. The hard seltzer craze resulted in triple-digit category sales growth in both 2019 and 2020, and Boston Beer projected 70% growth in 2021. But things took an unexpected turn. Boston Beer produced massive amounts of Truly to meet its expected demand, just as fickle consumer taste changed and the market went flat. In the end, Boston Beer had to destroy millions of cases of Truly that had been languishing in warehouses, and investors dumped the stock. Barron's reporter Nick Jasinski says the effect on Boston Beer has been dramatic. For Truly and for Hard Seltzer in general, last year was just a case of massively underperforming what were really high expectations coming into the year. Hard Seltzer sales still grew double digits in 2021, but it was nothing like the growth of the prior few years and nothing like what brewers and Wall Street were all expecting. So to its credit, Truly did grow about twice as fast as the broader market, but it still badly missed expectations. And for Boston Beer specifically, that meant that what management expected in April of 2021 was about $26 in earnings per share. And by the end of the year, that was just over a dollar in earnings per share, which is needless to say, that's a huge swing for any company over just a nine month period in the absence of an economic crisis. But investors may be wise not to fall off the Boston Beer wagon just yet. Although the category may be saturated, that may actually benefit Boston Beer. No doubt about it, the hard seltzer hype in 2021 got ahead of itself. Boston Beer stock probably had no business being at $1,300 a share last April, which is where it peaked. But now it seems like the disillusionment on the downside has been just as overdone. And that's an opportunity for investors to get back in on the rebound. In these kinds of consumer categories, you often see the top two brands end up dominating. Think of Gatorade and Powerade and sports drinks, or Red Bull and Monster and energy drinks. And truly in White Claw, they have so many new flavors coming out all the time that it's in the interest of stores to give them more shelf space because that's what's selling, that's what consumers want. Boston Beer may have a few other tricks up its sleeve as well. There's more to Boston Beer than one year of hard seltzer sales. Truly is still in a strong competitive position in what's a fast-growing corner of the alcoholic beverage market. And for the bigger company, it has a history of innovation and being early into new categories. So investors looking at the long term can count on Boston Beer to be early to whatever the next trend is going to be. In the end, there's reason to believe Boston Beer may raise the bar for investors once again.